Today, I'm proud to announce that our government has approved the plan to redevelop, expand, and modernize both Huntsville District and South Muskoka Memorial Hospitals. And <laughs> With the next phase of planning, Ford says there's millions of immediate funds coming now to help get progress underway on building two new hospitals and most importantly, getting more beds in Muskoka. We're investing $14 million to support the planning for this important project. As the hospitals are redeveloped, we will increase the number of beds at both hospitals, adding 50 new beds to the Muskoka Algonquin healthcare system, bringing the number of beds to over 140 it's a project that has had many hands involved in pushing it forward, including recently retired Mac CEO Natalie Bubella. What surprised me is it's a bit more money than we asked for in terms of doing the planning. So that says to me that the government is absolutely serious behind this build and getting it up and going as quickly as possible. So it's just fantastic news. Current interim CEO Vicki Kaminsky says she's already got her hands deep in planning for the next phase and is ready to help the next incoming CEO to be prepared to take over this massive project. We're not going to lose a minute of time. We're going to get started right away. I met with the new CEO yesterday afternoon for four hours. We went through a whole bunch of things. I briefed her on the announcement. Uh, she's going to hit the ground running and we, we'll just get it started, keep it moving. Meanwhile, Huntsville's local government officials are overjoyed with the news that their hard work is finally coming to fruition. Well, you know, every conference we would go to, we would request a deputation to talk to the minister. Um, and we just keep kept pounding away at, at the need for two hospitals here and also about the amount of the local share. Coroner staff have been wonderful, you know, they, they easily could have said, no, you can't come again. We just kept going, they kept saying come, we kept talking and you know what, I think it's paid off. It's truly phenomenal and we've heard that they will both be full service acute care facilities which is just a tremendous acknowledgement of the thousands of person hours of work that's gone into this, the advocacy, the research, the, the you know, proving that, that these communities need this. Uh, you can see the growth going on in both Bracebridge and Huntsville and surrounding areas and uh, th I, th I think this is going to ensure that these, com these communities continue to grow and thrive and uh, I'm just overjoyed. And while Ford has committed to kicking in a billion dollars for actual rebuilds, 500 million for each site, there will still be some local fundraising necessary, which is where people like Catherine Crane of Huntsville Hospital Foundation come in. Our, our donors are ready. Um, we have some very generous donors, both locally and seasonally and, and uh, people who visit. So, you know, we've been ready. So we're planning for it. Uh, of course, we will be, you know, alongside, working alongside with Mock to um, work with them on a model and to talk about what it is that the hospital will be in the next you know, number of years, but it will be great, that's for sure.